thanks for your time tonight. Uh, Obviously, uh, just looking at it statistically, you played pretty well for the Wizards last year, particularly in the bubble. How difficult was it for your your role to change a little bit this year with with them drafting Abdia? And uh, how what was your reaction to the trade? Uh, I mean, it was kind of hard, you know, just getting adjusted to things like uh, just coming off of the bubble. Like they kind of told me I was going to be playing like backup point guard and then coming into the season. Uh, I kind of was playing like the four. And then after that, I kind of went to the bench. So it was one of those things where it was definitely hard. But at the end of the day, you know, for me, my goal was just to continue getting better and just like trying to talk to Denny and let him like, like try to give him some of the information I wish I would have knew when I was a rookie. So what do you, uh, if someone were to ask you to describe your strengths and, and maybe some of your weaknesses, what would you say? Uh, I would just say my versatility is my biggest thing. Like just being able to do everything on the court, being able to defend knock down shots, get to the basket, create plays. You know, I'm just a basketball player, and so my versatility really helps me. What about things you might want to work on? Uh, I would say definitely my lateral quickness, uh, being able to guard really small guards. Um, and then I would just say keep on getting stronger and just working on my body. Thank you, Troy. Rob, go ahead. Hey, Troy. Yeah. My name is Rob Schaefer. <clears throat> I'm also with NBC Sports Chicago. Um, welcome to Chicago. It's good to meet you. Um, just curious, you know, talking to Billy and, and Arturis coming on board here, uh, what have they kind of conveyed to you about um, expectations for you, your role, and things along those lines? Uh, right now, I just talked to Coach, um, and he was just like, right now we need defense. So we just need a defensive presence. And so that was the biggest thing for me uh, when I got in. I was just trying to make sure that I was given that and just trying to help, uh, you know, just bring that presence of what he asked for. And from there, just letting the game flow. I've seen you in the past talk about wanting to improve your, your jump shot. Um, obviously, your percentages went up in your second season, especially catch and shoot, and nearly 40% um, from three in that context. What did you do over the course of the offseason and even through um, your third season to this point to kind of work on that, uh, your outside shot? And, and where do you think that aspect of your game is at this point? Uh, I would just say uh, repetition, just putting up lots of shots, making sure that's something that I did every day uh, during the summer and, you know, just continue to work on it. You know, I think it's more mental than it is physical, you know, so, so, yeah. And I just had one more quick one. Uh, Casey mentioned the bubble. Um, just wondering kind of what was behind your kind of surge um, there with the Wizards? And do you see any things that you picked up in there that you can maybe build on or translate uh, to Chicago if you're able to carve out a role? Uh, yeah, overall, I feel like uh, Coach Donovan lets us play and he gives us a pretty uh, wide range of plays to run and stuff to give us freedom and let us be who we are. And so I definitely feel like how I've kind of played in the bubble, I'm able to replicate that over here. And, you know, the biggest thing I took away from that was just kind of more so of me playing more downhill as a big guard and being able to get in the paint and make decisions and kind of facilitate to my teammates. So thank you. Yeah. Darnell, Darnell, go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Tim. What's up, Troy? My name's Darnell Mayberry, man, with The Athletic. Uh, my man, Fred Katz, out there in the <laughs> told me that, that uh, you, you, you've already kind of got a vision. I got a question for you that's kind of off the court, uh, mm -hmm. life after basketball. He says you've already kind of got a vision for what you want to do. And we've seen some of your, your writing interests, blogging about your experiences and things like that. Can you tell me about how that came about and just kind of what your interests are and, and, and where you see yourself? Um, I would just say the biggest thing for me is like when I grew up, I always wanted to be like a sports broadcaster. Um, as I got older, I kind of just realized like I can kind of branch out in the different parts of that in a different like way that kind of replicates like who I am. So I just been kind of doing it more like in my way, more like with the vlogs and, you know, doing like kind of like the the stories and stuff like that. So that's just one of my interests and just something that I love to do. So, so yeah. So, so I'm, I'm kind of more of an old school guy. I'm more of a newspaper guy, but media has evolved. And, yeah. and where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself fitting into that as, as, as media has changed and evolved and now you got the rise of social media and things like that? How do you see that playing into what you want to do with it? Um, I would just say the biggest thing is like me being able to take advantage of the platform I have right now and just trying to make the most of it. You know, that's definitely the biggest thing. Um, other than that, though, I feel like, you know, like based off of my generation and my age group, I feel like I'm pretty like up to date with stuff, you know, right now. So I feel like when I get older, though, that's when it's going to be kind of like, OK, now we got to stay more relevant. So. So, yeah, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> Good luck, man. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mike, go ahead. Mike. <clears throat> hey, Troy, Mike McGraw, Daily Herald. Uh, 
Do you think you guys you you made a good first impression last night? I thought I played pretty decent. Uh, definitely some things I got to work on, you know, getting used to the coverages. Uh, I felt like uh, a couple of times, you know, DeMar caught me with pump fakes and I jumped and, you know, got off the floor. Definitely got to, you know, stay down on that. But just more so of me watching film and, you know, getting in the lab and just, you know, correcting the little things. And I feel like with time and getting used to the system, uh, I feel like I'll, I'll kind of like translate in. Okay, thanks. Anything else for Troy or do you want me to let him go? Oh, uh, Rob Schaefer, go ahead. Yeah, I was I was going to chip in. I know Cody has been trying to raise his hand, but his um, feature was off. Well, Co Cody, go after Rob, will you please? Okay. I'm, I'm actually good now. I'm Cody Westman from 670 The Score. I mean, I was going to ask you a little bit about your defensive presence, so I guess I'll chime in here. Last one. Just how big of a difference do you think you can make on the defensive end for this team? Uh, for me personally, I feel like with my length and my size and kind of being able to guard one through three and, you know, being able to absorb like that four position a little bit, uh, I feel like it definitely helps. Uh, I feel like for me personally, it's just about, you know, energy and effort and making sure I bring that mentality every game. And I feel like everything else will handle itself just based off of knowing co coverages and, you know, just me being active and being on the floor. So, so yeah. Thank you. Yep.